Security is always tight here at the airport, but it's kicking up a notch. The Tri-Cities Airport is waiting for guidance from the Secret Service before a special guest touches down. Should President Trump arrive to the Tri-Cities on Air Force One, all business comes to a sudden halt. Our airfield and airspace will be closed for a small amount of time. While the president is in the Tri-Cities, there will be a 10-mile temporary flight restriction and a 30-mile restriction when he arrives and departs. For the airport staff, it's a unique chance to showcase their capabilities. For us, it's exciting to have a large aircraft like that land at the Tri-Cities Airport and that we can handle that type of aircraft. Around Johnson City, mixed emotions about the president's arrival. Supporters are jumping at the chance to see the president in person. I'm not going to camp overnight to try to be like on Black Friday, but I would sure like to be able to go. Others see potential issues surrounding the rally. I feel like there'll be a lot of protests. I feel like there'll probably be a lot of people upset, and then there'll be a lot of people who are supporting. I think it's interesting to see him like come to a community that's as small as this, but I think it also demonstrates how ETSU and Johnson City is expanding. Now it's still unclear if the president will fly into the Tri-Cities Airport, but people here tell me they're ready to work with the Secret Service as soon as possible. In Blountville, John Engel News 5, WCYB. Back to you.